Hello, everyone. For this summer, we've prepared another large update for you, and this time it's called Red Skies. We're adding two new maps, a whole range of updated gameplay mechanics, and, but of course, a fresh batch of new vehicles. The cherry on the top is the long-awaited Rank 7 for the aircraft. The Soviet Tech Tree receives a new top fighter, the MiG-23M. The German Tree is crowned by a late modification of the F-4F Phantom II. As for the US, it can now enjoy the F-5E light multi-role fighter. China gets one of the latest versions of the J-7 with the E modification, although still reminiscent of its Soviet predecessor, the MiG-21. Several existing planes in the game have also joined rank 7. And since top-tier aircraft have become so powerful, air defense forces have prepared their own punch. Computer-controlled anti-air can now use anti-air missiles. So don't get too comfortable when flying your best-of-the-best -best plane. Now, you've had a wide choice of maps before. But now you'll have even more. Please welcome Drowned City, an amazing location straight out of a catastrophe movie with surviving skyscrapers peeking out of the water. Tankers might also want to check out the new hot map, Red Desert. Speaking of tanks, you can now use Commander Sights. It's an addition to regular binoculars, not a replacement. You can even use your gun with it if the tank can do that. The night vision device has moved there too, if that's where it should be on the real machine. The same is true for the gun and firing control. If a machine allowed it, it's now possible for the commander to replace an unconscious gunner. Here's a new top MBT for the Soviet tree. The T-80 BVM. Its engine compartment hides a gas turbine, a 1250 horsepower strong power plant, same as on the U modification, while the relict reactive armor improves its protection. Two new SBAAs now guard the Chinese ground forces. The PGZ-09 with two 35mm cannons and the PGZ-04A with four 25mm cannons and IR guided missiles. Germany receives the Marder A1 Minus, a locally developed AFV with excellent mobility, a high aiming speed, a 20mm cannon, and Milan ATGMs. It's a great tank hunter. And here's the second aircraft with a variable sweep wing, the MiG 23M. Its engine is even more powerful, and its suspended armament includes medium range air to air missiles the radar-guided R-23R and the heat-seeking R-23T. Moreover, its onboard radar can seek and track targets near the ground, while the Passive Infrared Search and Track System, or the IRST, can silently seek for your enemy's heat signature and help guide your missiles to it. The seas of War Thunder are happy to see two new battleships. The Italian Dante Alighieri and the American Wyoming. Both are armed with 305mm guns that are positioned in such a way that you can fire them all at once. By the way, we've added one simple yet amazing thing for naval battles. If you hold the fire button, the camera will follow the rounds. Not only does it look stunning, but it also helps correct your aim. But wait! We've got more. Take the Chinese WMA-301 light tank, for instance, capable of doing its job at any time of the day. We also have new top anti-airs from Sweden and France that provide a 12-kilometer radius of air defense. How about the Argentinian TAM-2IP light tank with a set of composite armor? Or the new African Concept 3 with a powerful rapid-firing gun? If you're still with us, shh, we've got another nice little surprise for you. You'll like it. Allies could now help each other extinguish fires. 
All light tanks will be able to do this, and squad mates don't even need to have their own FPE if there's someone willing to spend theirs for you. As usual, the full changelog is available on our official website. Please subscribe to the channel, tell us about your favorite change or vehicle in the comments, leave a like, and tune in for more videos. See ya!